All right, third game for Greyjoy, Banner of the Rose. I made some slight changes to the deck. I think I put in Old Bill Bone over one eager deckhand because he can go in on first Snow of Winter for three gold. Man, this mulligan, I don't like it. Jeez. Oh, All right, let's try this. And, yes, I added a pinch of powder. I don't exactly remember what I cut to put that in the deck, but... I cut something to put in a pinch of powder. Because that's another way you can really wreck people if you have an unopposed challenge and you go first, or they, like, just chump block it. And, notably, this can deal with the attachment Voltrons. If, they, if the character doesn't have a duplicate, it just has a million attachments... Uh, then you can potentially get rid of it with Pinch of Powder, or at least, like, totally slow it down 5 million percent. Oh, jeez. Well, this is inconvenient because if I kneel my... If I marshal either of my economies, I can't marshal any big characters. I can exactly marshal Gates of the Moon and Maester Gorman. So I guess we're going to go for that. It's very arguable that I should play Balon, to go for the sea stone share. But I'd rather get more money on the first turn. Ideally, we can use Balon or to kill something later if we need to. Bearskin cloak, okay. Damn, can't afford that. And on the plots, I put in calling the banners over peace and prosperity. Because... I'm weighing the value of three more initiative against the potential that peace and prosperity will get me like one or two more gold than this will. I think there's a decent chance that this will get me at least as much gold or more and it has six initiative, which is pretty high. So that's why we're playing that. So you put a seize by the guard on my sea stone chair. So see, good that I didn't try to go for that. Strangler. That's nice to get rid of. Yeah, he could have strangled my Theon. That was a lucky hit. What is this? Is that legal? He's having to do it manually for some reason. Weird. Well, I'm that's questionable, but I'm not going to stop him. If he's really that dead set on kneeling both of these to block this military, sure. Do it, dude. Yeah, Neil. Then do I do a power? Probably not. He is pretty vulnerable to first snow, but I think I want to get a dude on the board and then go for first snow. So maybe calling the banners. Yeah, this looks pretty good. See, if I play Peace and Prosperity this turn, it would get me effectively 7 gold. This gets me 6 and 3 more initiative. A Time for Wolves. Why is he using a Time for Wolves? Oh, he got the attachment, Shaggy Dog. Not sure what the idea is with that. Should I pinch him? Well, let's see what Maester Gorman has. Should I play that? Feel Okay, yeah, let's try this. There. Now I don't have to be as scared of political disaster. If he does political disaster, I just keep, like, these two and Great Krakens fine. Uh, 
Oh, what I could have really done is marshaled the Great Kraken from the top of my deck and held the other copy in hand. And then next turn play uh, Nothing Burns like the Cold. That would have been good. Might still play Nothing Burns like the Cold next turn. We'll see. Ooh, Winterfell. That's a good hit. Oh, we don't have to do nothing, Burns. We got the newly made. Now, I believe Shaggy Dog will kill Hagen's daughter. Oh, he's going to stealth her, so. I was drawing cards off Great Crack in there because I'm trying to draw economy or events. Either one would be really good. Unfortunately, couldn't draw either. Let's discard this and maybe Grey Ghost. Yeah, Grey Ghost seems least important out of those. Maybe Clash of Kings? I guess I can do first snow. Hits two of his guys, zero of mine because Hagen's daughter is in shadows. Rationing. Okay. Well, no pinch. I guess he was doing that to block Sea Stone Chair, but that didn't actually work on Sea Stone Chair. It blocks Great Kraken. Maybe that was the idea. I keep forgetting Maester Gorman. Oh, that sucks. I could have marshaled that for sure. Wow. I need to remember to look at that. So he's Arya's gifting Shaggy Dog onto Arya. Oh, this is any challenge, not military. Okay. Well, he's ahead by a little bit, and he's matching me on the board, but that's not going to last if I'm able to keep marshalling big dudes. I can Morghulis and it'll kill everything, but I don't really want to do that. That's still not very good. Let's just do this. Okay. Hmm. Let's keep Theon. The stealth on Theon is pretty relevant with this Sea Stone chair. Although he'll probably have attachments on all his guys, so maybe not. But I also have pinch, so that's good. Maybe I can pinch him this turn. 
Let's see. So I can marshal this guy for two. I think I'd rather just play Asha. Asha with the Stealth, Intrigue, 5 Strength is most likely to get a pinch going. Get pinched. Now I can more ghoul us if I need to. I guess bodyguard kind of sucks. I really don't want to use this, but maybe this is the time? Probably. Well, you still sacrifice two characters. That's kind of ballsy. Oh, that was wrong. He's definitely not supposed to sacrifice Great Kraken. Because he can put attachments on his Rob for sure. Oh well. Oh, uh, well, let's get the pinch back. This seems like the right play. No Tyrell characters, unfortunately. But at least it's on the field. This is still relevant, though, because you can see... Yeah, that's a problem, because if I get unopposed military, now I can make him choose him. He can't use the duplicate off uh, Mage if the military is unopposed. See if we get We Do Not Sow. Nope, that's fine. See, Pinch of Powder was exactly what this deck needed. Look at that. Basically winning me this game, the Pinch of Powder. Shoot, I don't know. We Do Not Sow? Not even sure if I should have picked We Do Not Sow there. It's definitely possible that I should have picked... What do you call it? She has Stealth? Forgot she had Stealth. 
it's definitely possible that I should have picked uh, like high guarding courts here. What is he doing? Oh, he canceled the claim by accident. He has to defend that the way that he did, or else I use the Sea Stone chair on Jason Malister. He knows. Ah, still one initiative. Sucks to be him. I uh, can't afford my pinch this turn. That's sad. What can I afford? I can play Gorman. But next turn is guarantee Valar Morghulis. I probably don't want to do that. Maybe I just save one for don't sew. It's either that or put Pinch in Shadows. I think I prefer the Pinch for next turn. Ah, stupid Iron Throne. That's an annoying card. Too bad for him I have zero gold, so it doesn't do anything. Oh no, he blocks my pinch of powder. It's terrible. Good job. That was very smart of you. My last plot is Greyjoy is absolutely not Val Armorgulis. You're really good at this game. It's not suspicious at all that I passed on my sea stone chair. <laughs> oh, goodness. Do I even want to do... Uh... Oh, he's giving up. Oh, yeah, I won. Because I'm at 14, so I get the unopposed from Asha doing Intrigue, and then I win. G -g 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 got him. That was a maximum got him game. Well, all the luck from my Barra Dragon deck seems to have transferred over to this one. Getting some handy wins with it. No, I feel like in playtesting, this deck did worse than the Baratheon Dragon one. But it's only a sample size of three games on the video, so sort of anything can happen. Obviously the pinch, absolutely devastating, and quite correct to put this in the deck. I would say that was the number one factor in him getting wrecked. So yeah. There will probably be a bit of a delay, uh, maybe even a whole week or two before I put videos again, because I'm really waiting for them to put the expansion cards from the Targaryen box onto the Iron Throne. I have more decks that were ready to go, but like all of them are going to look different after those Targ cards come out. And so I want those to come out, and I want to get used to playing with them and do some testing with those cards and then start playing the decks again, is what I want to do. So I was going through them and I was like, yeah, I'm going to use this card, I'm going to use this card, I'm going to use this card, plus the type of decks that I'm going up against might be different after that box, 
So I want to give time for that to adjust, and then I will resume playing. Them's, uh, them's the breaks.